Hey everyone, welcome to Daily One Update for October 12, 2010. It's a Tuesday, right? Tuesday, yes. yes. My name is Tina Sanchez. I'm Matt Leon. Hi. Hi. So this, what's on your plate? Or News. Your, on, your, on your pants. Well, Scott told me that apparently uh, the Yakuza PSP game is becoming a Japanese TV show. What? Which, but they're like changing everything about it. It's got the same main character, but... He's now, like, lame instead of awesome. Why is that? Because, according to the quote, he is no longer a quick-tempered lone wolf. He is now a uh, uh, very expressive and handsome man who thinks of his friends. <laughs> All right. Sounds like a Japanese TV drama. Can't wait. Oh, and he displays a split personality when, he, uh, when things get tough, apparently. Well, who doesn't? In the TV show. Yeah. Huh, so are there going to be a lot of explosions, a lot of fights? I have no, no. idea. Is he going to run away because he's not as cool, apparently? That doesn't sound very Yakuza. What is this, um, what is this thing called? Black Panther? That's the name of the game. I don't know what the show is going to be called, but hey, it's probably the same, or close. No, uh, it's, uh, it's like Black Panther New Chapter or something like that. Uh, okay. Anyway, you're not going to be able to watch it in America anyway, so... Well, Toshihiro Nagoshi is the executive producer. Yes. Who also created... Yakuza and yeah. Monkey Ball and Daytona 2 and lots of old stuff. Mm. He's very I wonder if it's going to be as amazing as the um, Dead Rising videos that they had on Xbox. Did you see those? Yes. I'm guessing the budget will be comparable. Do you think so? It was pretty funny when, like, they had the camera in that guy's lap in the wheelchair and from his perspective and yeah. <laughs> people who make games should not make movies and vice versa just ask Ken Levine alright it's alright uh, <laughs> in other news uh, there's a rare Pokemon available October 15th through the 30th via Wi-Fi um, if you guys are interested I guess it's the 10th anniversary of Pokemon Gold and Silver sweet and Nintendo is celebrating by releasing a rare Pokemon uh, in other words Mew isn't it cute, the little pink cat? It's adorable. I gave one of those stuffed animals to uh, Milky's daughter because... Because they share the name? Yeah. Mm. So apparently, uh, you know, you can pick it up on Nintendo Wi-Fi and you choose a mystery gift online. And um, this cat will have a cherish ball. I don't know what that means. And he'll wear a, pre <laughs> a premiere... It comes inside a cherish ball. Yeah, I don't, I don't know I what... I don't know. Is that one of those capsules that you get in the stores? Well, no, I know that, open? but the cherish one is different from the regular Pokeball, apparently. Okay. Something like that. Um, but it's going to have a premiere ribbon to indicate, you know, the origins. In other words, that you got it for free. Meh. So it'll start with uh, five levels of... a, uh, Or start at level five and have a few basic attacks. And, uh, yeah, congrats to those who... Decide to pick this thing up, I guess. Justin's all excited right now. <laughs> uh, and then we had some reviews this week. Yeah? There was Sonic, but more importantly for you, there was a Medal for of me? Honor game. Why, why for me? Because you like, or shooters. at least pretend to talk about liking shooters. I pretend to like shooters? That take place in, like in war settings. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. know that. No, you play them way too much. Um, <laughs> but Medal of Honor, uh, Andrew Hayward reviewed it for us. He gave uh -huh. it a B. Mm -hmm. um, I was kind of expecting, I mean, I hadn't played much of it ahead of time, but I was expecting the multiplayer to get more acclaim than single player, but he seems to say single player is better. Really? He's, uh, he says, it's not really like a big, there's not a lot of surprises, it's not like that memorable, but he says a single player is, is like really strong. Uh, multiplayer, okay. But, mm. but both of them kind of uh, slightly lacking ambition compared to uh, Call of Duty. Is that what he said? What he said. All right, well, you can read his comments or his entire review on our site right now because it's up, yes? Yeah. You've played a little of this, right? Yeah, I did. I played the multiplayer, though, not none of the single player. Mm. So I know nothing of what he speaks of. But uh, I know a lot of people are comparing, you know, the, the multiplayer to, like, a combination of Call of Duty and Battlefield, and it's, like, a nice middle ground. So if you're into that, which a lot of people are. If you're are. not, maybe they just can't make up their minds. Maybe you want Call of Duty, maybe you want Battlefield. Why do you want you both in one? You both together. So you're going to half-ass on both sides? It's not half-assed. I haven't played it. Well, I don't, I don't know what Andrew says, but I don't think it's half-assed. I don't think he uses that phrase. Okay. Speaking of shooters, we should watch the Black Ops trailer now. Okay. It's new. There's no Eminem in this one. No Eminem. Which is surprising, right? You would think that. Well, they can't put him in everyone. They're going to run out of songs. <laughs> 
I thought I thought he was like the unofficial Call of Duty like singer though, you know. Well, that's like their marketing campaign to make you think that this is actually a follow-up to Modern Warfare because they use the same kind of trailers. So there's, you know, some some surprises you should watch out for. You see the Pentagon, um, you do see Fidel Castro, or not Fidel Castro, but you do see, like, a scene from Cuba, and there's Russian roulette towards the end that Scott is super excited about, so. Mao. 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 Show it. Or just watch. Roll. You will move without boundaries. You will act above the law. You will use every means necessary to stop the wars that are hidden from the world. And if you succeed, you will do so without recognition. Because you do not exist. <laughs> 